Conquering coordinating conjunctions, practice makes perfect. Hello, language explorers. Today we're delving deep into the exciting world of English grammar, focusing specifically on coordinating conjunctions. Our goal? To understand and use them effectively, bringing clarity and variety to our sentences. So, let's start practicing. Coordinating conjunctions are like the glue that holds your sentences together. They connect words, phrases, and clauses of equal importance. The English language has seven of them. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. You can remember them with the acronym FANBOYS. Let's take an example. I was hungry, so I ate an apple. Here, the conjunction so connects two independent clauses, making the sentence smoother and more connected. Now it's time to flex our grammar muscles with some exercises. 1. She loves dancing underscore 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 she doesn't like singing. The correct coordinating conjunction here is, but. The sentence should read, she loves dancing, but she doesn't like singing. 2. I want to buy a new car, underscore 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 I need to save money. The correct coordinating conjunction is, so. The sentence should read, I want to buy a new car, so I need to save money. Try practicing with your own sentences, too. Just remember to use each of the fanboys at least once. Let's take our practice a step further. Now, I'll provide a pair of sentences. Your task is to combine them using one of the fanboys. 1. We were going to go hiking. It started raining. One way to combine these sentences could be. We were going to go hiking, but it started raining. 2. He didn't have any cash. He paid with his credit card. A possible combined sentence could be. He didn't have any cash, so he paid with his credit card. And that's it for today, language explorers. I hope this practice on coordinating conjunctions has been beneficial. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep revisiting and applying these fanboys in your daily conversations or writings. Until our next grammar adventure, keep exploring and learning.